hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can put your website in a coming soon mode or maintenance mode so let's say you have a website like this one over here and then um you're not ready to launch it yet but you want to put it on a coming soon or on a maintenance mode maybe there's something wrong you need to repair it or do something about it now i'm going to show you two different ways that you can be able to do it on your wordpress website so let's get into the video so what we are going to do is we're going to go to our dashboard over here so as you can see this is our dashboard now the first method that we're going to do is to use a plugin all the two methods we're going to use plugins but one is something that you use regularly and there is no need for you to even use a plugin for that particular method okay because it is that plugin that you use to you know build your pages and other stuff so that plugin is basically part of your design and other stuff but the first method that we're going to use is basically install um a plugin that we're going to use and that plugin is called the minimal coming soon plugin so we're going to go to plugin plugins over here and then we're going to click on add new all right so once we are here we're just going to search for coming soon all right so there are a lot of coming soon plugins that you can use to um you know design your coming soon page but the one that we're going to use is very simple to use and that is what the minimal coming soon um plugin by web factory okay so this is the plugin that we're going to use it is having hundred thousand active installations now of course a lot of people also like the seed pro but this one is more or less like an advance for me and i don't need any advanced heavy plugin for my website i need just this particular plugin which um, will do just what i want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on install over here and i'm going to click on activate to activate it all right guys, so once it is activated um you're going to see the minimal coming soon and maintenance mode over here so what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings over here and then it will bring you to this um page okay so this is um their landing page which they will tell you to you know buy the pro version of the plugin and blah 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 all those kind of stuff now of course if you have money why not you can go ahead and then you know buy the pro version if you want but i'm not going to need a pro version to do anything all i need is just to put my website on a coming soon mode so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to basic now remember that at the moment you install the coming soon page you see this maintenance mode over here okay so meaning that um you can turn it on or off okay so let's say we want to turn it on so when you click over here it's going to turn on for us now at the moment we turn it on you see that this one is also a toggled on okay it shows green at first it wasn't showing but now it is showing green meaning and this one is also what showing green over here meaning that our maintenance our website is on maintenance mode or it is on the coming soon with mode so uh, let's try and see if we can you know see if our website is on a coming soon mode or not now let's copy this link over here and then open um in an incognito okay so i'm just going to go over here and then open the link in an incognito mode I'm going to paste it over here and as you can see it says what our site is coming soon okay and this is the normal one this is what i want okay it's simple as that i don't need anything else but the only thing i want you to guys to also notice that you can customize it okay so you can go ahead and then you know customize it so i'm going to go back over here go back to my um, dashboard and then i look through the settings over here so um the our site is coming soon that is the header um you know um text over here and then this one also says what we are doing some maintenance um blah 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 it won't take long we we'll, we promise blah 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 now if you go over here um that is what is written over here okay so you can decide to change any of the text if you want it depends on what it depends on you okay so whatever you want to write over here you can write and then this one text is all what for anti um you know anti spam text okay so and yes we hate spam you can write anything over here and then also this one is what um is custom login url so if you have changed your um, login url you can put it over here so that um when you want to log in you can easily log in and then also um login if you want to show the login button also you can decide to show it on the page okay now this is how the layout looks like so as you can see this is the logo the coming soon and then the text also over here okay so 
you can go ahead and then play around it if you want to change the logo you can click over here and then um, it will send you to the design and then you can be able to uh, change your logo change the favicon and then also what uh, change um, you know the background color uh, the background um, cover image also over here so there are a lot of things that you can do about this particular uh, plugin so let's do some changes so let's say we want to change our logo so i'm going to just remove this one and then um i have some you know some coming soon um kind of like thing that i have downloaded that i want to just um, let me go to my downloads over here and then as you can see um, I have some coming soon thing that I want to drag in. So I just run, want to drag these two things over here. So I'm going to drag this one in it. Oh, sorry. Let me come over here. I'm going to drag this one over here. All right. So I can choose whatever I want to use. And I want to use this particular one. Um, there's nothing to load more. Just want to use this particular one. Okay. So just click on select image over here. And as you can see, this is how it looks. Now your, the favicon is more or less like your um you know the icon that really appears over here okay so the one that will appear over here so it depends on you if you want to change it you can decide to change now this logo is for the minimal coming soon plugin logo okay so you can change it it depends on you but i'm not going to tackle it i'm just going to leave it over here so um if you want a content overlay you can do so um let's say i want to change the background over here also i'll click over here and then maybe um, I'll just select any image that I want to use. Okay, so as you can see, um, you can change, select any kind of image that you want to use. So let's say I want to use this particular image. All right, so this is the image that I want to use. Um, let me go through. You can do all the, um, how do you call it? The background color, you know, um, the, the background, if you want a filter, this is a pro version. And then the content width, uh, content position um content alignment you know if you want to change it to center you can do so over here and then um remember that it is on the left align if you if you look at it very well it is all on the what on the left so i want to put it in center so that is what that is it so just do all the changes that you want to do and i click on save changes all right so now that i have saved the changes let me go back over here and then refresh it and see if um, everything has changed so guys as you can see um it has changed okay so this is my new coming soon what page okay so this is logo is a, a little bit bigger um unfortunately there's no way i can be able to you know just shrink the logo to make it to a small okay so make sure that um you search for or you you shrink the logo in the size that is what um really smaller over here for for you to be able to use it on your coming soon page so as you can see everything looks fine over here and that is what my coming soon page over here so this is the first uh, um this is the first method that you can be able to use so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to deactivate the coming soon so i'm going to turn it off all right so i've turned it off and i'm going to go back to the plugins to deactivate this particular um plugin so i'm going to go to installed plugins and then i'm going to deactivate that particular plugin so this is a plugin and then we move on to the second method okay so if i go back over here and then i refresh this one now my simple store shows over here okay so now it is not um on a coming soon mode mode anymore but it is what working perfectly over here and that is what and that is um the first method now let's go back to the second method now second method is just to use elementor okay so you know i have elementor already installed elementor is what i use to create this particular website okay so it is already installed for me and there is no way for me to go ahead and install a different plugin whilst i still have elementor over here which i can use it to create my own coming soon page okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use elementor to create um, a coming soon page for you guys to see how it works so um to be able to use elementor if you don't have elementor on your website and you want to use elementor now elementor is just a page builder or a website builder which you can use to create any website without writing any single line of coding so what we're going to do is just go to your plugins and then make sure that you click on add new plugin to install a new plugin and then search for elementor 
so um, go ahead and search for Elementor website builder and then the first one that appears over here is what you have to install so click on install now and when it comes just click on activate to activate it so now that you understand what we mean by using the elementor now let's go ahead and then go into details how we're going to use elementor to design our coming soon page so elementor have this functionality whereby you can put your website in a uh, maintenance mode okay so what we're going to do is now when you install Elementor, hover on Elementor over here on the left hand side, click on settings over here. All right, guys, so not on settings over here, but rather tools. OK, so just make sure that you click on tools. OK, sorry. Click on tools over here. And then um, you see on this tab over here, you see what we call the maintenance mode over here. That is a feature that I'm talking about. So click on um the maintenance mode and then choose the mode that you want so right now it is what it is disabled now if i click on um coming soon or maintenance any other one will work for me okay so i want to put it on the coming soon mode i can just click over here and if i want to change it to maintenance mode i can also just click over here so it depends on whatever way that you want it um it depends on you so let's say we want to put it on what um, a coming soon mode okay so that is it now who can access it i'm um, only logged in users and then you choose a template now since we don't have any template over there we need to create a template that people will land on whenever this um they, they they click on our website link okay or they want to visit our website so we, we have to create one over here so we're going to choose um click on the create one and then it will open elementor for us to be able to create our um our template so i'm going to name it coming soon okay i'm going to name it coming soon and then um you know just do some few settings about it so the content layout um you know this is for ocean wp now it depends on your theme over here okay so this one particularly is for ocean wp okay so um i just want to make the layout what um full width and then um you know whatever thing that i want to use but the most important thing is to choose the um the template now the template i want is elementor canvas okay now the reason why i want the canvas is i don't want um header i don't want footer so that is what i want to use and then i'll click on publish to publish it all right now so now what i have to do is i have to come over here and then click on edit with elementor to edit the page that i just published so i'm going to click on edit with elementor and then elementor page builder will open for me to be able to edit that page and then make it my own all right so i'm going to zoom in a little bit and then click on continue over here and as you can see um this is my elementor page over here there is nothing over here for me and all i can do is to just what just start creating my page so what i want to do is i will click on this plus icon over here choose um one column direction or um, container over here i'm going to choose the container over here and then um over here the width whatever you want you can you know make it anyhow you want it but i want to make it like you know depending on what you want if you want to make it like a full width or whatever it is it depends on you but this is the most important thing i want to make it like um you know a vh vh the view height okay so with the view height i'll make it 100 percent meaning that all all um you know view height will be basically the same okay so that is what that is it and then also if i come to the style over here i can come to style i can you know choose a background type okay so i'm going to just click over here and then choose um you know the background i'm going to choose an image for it so um, i'm going to search for the image um that i want to use okay so let's say i want to use this or this image depends on what i want to use okay so um let me just go through all right so what i want to do is um all of them you know i like all of them so what i will do is i'm going to just choose a slideshow okay so i want to make my my what do you call it you know my 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 landing page or my coming soon page really fun okay so i want to um create a, a slideshow for it so what i will do is um, i'm going to scroll down again and then choose about three or um you know three or four images and set it as a gallery and then i'm going to use this images okay insert that images as what gallery and as you can see this is how it looks like so um 
with the background position and everything if that is what you want you know background size i'm going to choose cover over here and then the background position i'll make it like a center center okay so everything is quite okay for me and i think i'm good to go now the next one too i want to do is i want to go to um advance over here and then just create a pattern for it okay so i'm going to go and then create like um, a top pattern of let me just give a top pattern of 80 okay and then bottom pattern of also 80 okay so i think um now i'm good to go so if you look at it this is how it looks like and then if i want to give it um you know another kind of like a color overlay okay so a background overlay i'll go over here click on the background overlay and then choose the type which is classic now i'm going to choose what color that i want i'm going to just choose a dark color okay so i'm going to choose you know dark color and i can increase click outside it and i can increase the opacity um, a little bit to anyhow i want it okay so basically you can do whatever thing that you want to do with it so um this is what i want now over here i can click on the plus icon over here and then i can do two things i can um, bring an image over here can bring an image over here okay so as you can see i can bring an image over here click over here to choose an image now i'm going to bring the logo okay so i'm going to use this coming soon logo i'm going to use this particular coming soon now, as you can see this is what this is a coming soon logo that i want to use okay so um if i feel it is you know really big the space over here that i'm going to type in is really big i can just click over here on this main container over here go to its layout and then instead of the the width i can choose any width that i want so i want to make it like um you know 700 okay so as you can see this is how it's going to be like okay and with the text and um, with the um coming soon um logo also i can go ahead go to install click on this pencil icon over here pen icon go to install and then you know just increase or reduce the size of the coming soon um, logo depends on what you really want okay so if you think this is okay for you you can leave it at it now i'm going to click on this grip icon over here and then i can bring um another text over here then write anything that i want to write so this is a heading text so i can just decide to say um our website is coming soon okay or maybe simple store simple store is coming soon so i'm gonna just click over here okay now i'll start it later on but i'm gonna click on this one come scroll down under layout okay so over here under layout scroll down and then you see this one which says um justify so you center this one and then also center the everything so everything is going to be um you know centered over here okay so meaning that um whatever you write will be what in the center of or uh, whatever you put in the any widget that you put over here is going to be centered for you okay so um that is what that is it so basically i can increase this one also a little bit okay so yeah this is okay then i can come over here and then go to a style over here and then, and then change this one to white okay change um that that size or anything to let's say 55 okay depends on you okay and then go to its content um you know align it in center and as you can see it says what simple store is coming soon okay so i can also come over here um change the weight and everything so let's say i want to change it to 800 or i want to change it to let's say 900 black okay um i think the default one is quite okay so you can transform it do anything that you want to do with it it depends on you so um basically that is it so this is what a simple coming soon page that you can uh, you know um, build now you can add more widget to it you can add more you can add your facebook you can add your social you know links and other stuff to it so let's say i want to add social media links over here okay i can go ahead and then add my social media links over here so i can style this one okay so instead of official i'm going to use a custom color 
and then change this one to um, white and then change this one to black okay I can do so um, anything that you want to do anything that you want to do so this one uh, maybe I want to make it like a, um, a circle okay you can do it just like that so you can go ahead open this one and then enter your paste your um, Facebook URL and other stuff for inside you can even add um, what do you call it you know forms and other stuff on this particular one and that is how you can put this one also in it so I'm just going to reduce this size a little bit I'm gonna go over here reduce it to yeah so this one is quite okay and then we are good to go so you can you know um check the responsive mode so let me just check this one go to tablet and see how it looks like it's okay go to mobile also and see how it looks like so if the mobile is too big for you you can also reduce the sizes also so any anything that you reduce over here only affects the mobile side so i'm going to just reduce it a little bit and i think um it's quite okay also for me so if everything is um okay for you all what you need to do is to click on update to update it now um i can close this one okay i can close this one and i still come over here and then what i will do is i'll just refresh it or just save changes over here so if i save the changes all the things that i've done will what will um, reflect so if i click over here, you see that there is a coming soon page over here just click on it and then i can click on save changes all right so now that i have you know um, change it and put it on coming soon you see that there is a maintenance mode over here okay meaning that our website is what in a maintenance mode now if you go to our website over here and we refresh the website what we see is what our coming soon page or our maintenance page over here and that is how you can use elementor to set up your coming soon page okay so i hope this video really helps you to be able to create your own coming soon page please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel don't forget to um you know share the videos to your friends and families who can be also be able to benefit from this particular video okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye